<laughs> Isolation Nation, welcome to another social distancing social club. I am one of your hosts, Ben Glebe. I almost said Steve Hofstetter. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't even know who I am anymore. It's how long the pandemic's been going on. Ding dong, the witch is dead. It's not referring to nothing in particular. Anyway, thank you all for being with us. I don't, oh, by the way, I didn't mean Steve with that. I meant Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> <laughs> I brain shifted to another topic and I realized it sounded weird in retrospect, so I had to go back and clarify that. Um, They're very different people. Anyway, what a start this is. Steve is not here today. And so we are going to now introduce you to the third leg of the four-legged tripod that makes up the quarantine. <laughs> will be acting as the second leg de facto. It is Chris Bowers. Chris Bowers, everybody. Bow wow. Hey, hey. I, I already feel like I shouldn't go outside for some reason. Uh, hey, I'm excited to be here. We're fired up. Uh, so Steve is a witch. Is that what you're saying? He's the, week, the witch is dead? I did not, not mean dead. that at all. I was referring to Rush Limbaugh. I was not referring to Steve. I just didn't, I didn't do the, the, the comma in the intro like one of my favorite news blooper clips where, even though it's about a sad topic, but this guy was filling in his news anchor until he wasn't very rehearsed at at, uh, at reading the prompter or they didn't have a comma in there, and he blended the intro and the first story together. So he goes, Hello, I'm Dale Hopkins in today for Miguel Alvarez. He was killed and eaten at his own birthday party. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, which reminds me, if you'd like to support the show, please do so. You can Venmo us in the top right of the screen. You can PayPal at sdscshow.com, or of course you can send us super chats, whatever the thing that Steve says is. I've never listened to Steve talk. Super <laughs> chats on the YouTube. Of course, we prefer the other ones because YouTube takes like 90% because they're a bunch of Google-owned motherfuckers, and we're saying that on their own platform, so at least they allow that kind of free... <laughs> I think we're back. And uh, how you doing, Bao? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I, I after the insurrection, I texted my dad and I was like, "So you still you done with Trump yet?" And he said, "No lines were crossed." And I'm like, "All right, well, I guess I'll talk to you again." And he goes, "No, no, I meant no comma lines were crossed." I'm like, "Okay, here you go." <laughs> it was the most important comma in the history of our relationship. I wish you to put that in the text to begin with, but that's neither here nor there. Queen Rachel, how are you doing? Queen, I am here, and um, I wanted to let you guys know in the YouTube chat, um, Steve said the witch is alive, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Apparently, Rush Limbaugh's back to life. That guy knew he wouldn't go away that oh, easy. Oh, that witch. Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> That's okay. what I'm referring to. Was I oh. didn't put a comma in there. Yeah. There I didn't go. mean Steve. Crying out loud. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, look, cancer's not always bad. That's all I'm saying. Uh, so, <laughs> what? Rush Limbaugh died of cancer. Fuck him. I'm glad cancer got him. Oh. Right? Sometimes, sometimes not bad. I, I Look, I do not stray from being i'm happy when bad people die right like were there people like during world war ii like what no don't you can't be mad hitler killed himself come on like no yeah. fuck him i'm glad he's yeah gone. if someone's e i don't celebrate it but if somebody's evil i try not to celebrate it but if somebody's evil, i am celebrating and they die there's less evil in the world and less people suffer and less people die because of that so you That's gotta what I'm saying. there you go <laughs> I agree with that. Yeah. Steve, great person and unrelated. Yeah, we don't want Steve to die. Steve's a man. No, of course not. Yeah, he's incredible. not the witch we were talking about. Well, did we have an overnight game? <laughs> we did not have an overnight game, but we do have a fun game today, which since Steve isn't here, we're going to Steve a movie. So <laughs> Hunt for the Red Hot Head October or... <laughs> Freddy's got freaky fingers, or uh, <laughs> I like, or uh, get out of Los Angeles. So that's what we're doing. We're <laughs> Steve in a movie today. So uh, for a five dollar super chat or more, put that in the chat uh, or Venmo or PayPal, and we will read it on the show. Uh, and the best one will win a super uh, pack of prizes, which is still the same thing from day. We probably should update the pack of prizes, Ben, since. You know, mm. like some people won 15 times and they still get your one album and me and Steve's nine or whatever. I've got two albums. I don't know if we're still <laughs> I've got two albums. Since a What's year that? ago, What's you need that? to upload the second one. It's still you know? not uploaded? Because <laughs> <laughs> I have an old CD drive and it wouldn't take you through and it's an old. Oh, computer. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rachel, the nine times you've been to my house, I could have given you physically the disc to upload. One. It. I, I can't. I've tried to upload it. I'm not good at uploading. I think at this point okay. we can send a physical copy to everyone and it'd be fine. We have plenty. Uh, yeah. That's what Carmel said. 
<laughs> Rachel, judging on the on the on the on the Patreon hang yesterday, we know you're good at getting media onto devices. <laughs> we don't talk about the Patreon hangs. No, we don't talk about. It. I didn't reference what it was. We just you're, very good, you're a good media handler. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the most I've seen her embarrassed. It was pretty good. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Embarrassing Rachel's one of the great joys. It's one of the great yeah. joys. Well, it's, yeah. It's well. <laughs> I mean, embarrassing. Any, anybody being embarrassed is funny. I think in general, like when, Ben, when you rubbed that penis bracelet on your head, that was very funny. Oh, I was great. Yeah, and, uh, one of the worst moments of my life. <laughs> I don't want you, Steve's but penis us, anywhere near me, even if it's a metaphorical penis, even if it's an allegorical, you know, that's ample a, penis. Hey, that's the that's the Mel Brooks quote, right? Tragedy is I have an, a hangnail. Comedy is you walk into an open sewer and die, right? So as long as it doesn't happen, that's what Mel Brooks said. Yeah. <laughs> As long as it happened to me, it's fun. Uh, <laughs> you want to introduce the front row? I would love to do that. You're Video front row, something? please turn. I'm messing with my shit here. Please turn on your cameras and join us. We are very excited to have you here today. We are joined by Frank Berman. Good to have you, Frank. Boom. We are joined by Cass. Hello, Cass. Steve's not here, so she's not wearing Steve Hofstetter clothing. You can still warn her. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I feel like I even came. I barely woke up. <laughs> well, we are very lucky. Glad to have you, Cass. Thanks for the effort. We appreciate it. Yes, we do appreciate that. Sean Ehrlich is with us, everybody. Woo! We're in the, the, the home blues. We've got Patrick Yokely in the house. We've got Chris LaBalls, fresh from a fan. Fuck it, Friday, Friday on a Wednesday. <laughs> We've got LJ Mutz and stuff joining us. We've got Ray Benjamin looking the wrong way, but here in spirit. I'm here. Hello, hello. <laughs> We've got Abby with us, everybody. We've got Gangster E. Corbin with this very thuggish, ruggish outfit coming at us. You're lucky I even came. I barely went to sleep. <laughs> we got the Bunst with us, Dana Z. Bunster. Hey. Hello, hello. We've got Hayden, the graphics master, the master. Hello, Hayden. Hey, ben. We've got Tam Brown in the house. Winter is coming all at once in one week. We've got Elizabeth F. We've got Shannon Burke. Seeing the green screen and not seeing the dicks. I'll take it. <laughs> We've got August Gus Walsh with us, everybody. Bill Thompson is here. Hello, Blue Corner Bill. We got Cassie Nolan in the house. We have got JoJo. We got Josepha. Anna Hood. Ben, Josepha. It's Josepha. Josepha. Oh. <laughs> no. Holy <laughs> Lord. <laughs> We've got Anna Hood here. <laughs> We've I got... What's that? <laughs> I didn't even want to be here today. <laughs> We've got Fook Issei joining us. I'm sorry, that says fuck ice. <laughs> and we've got Frankie Angles Nataro in the house, and that is the video front row. Hey, we also have two amazing comics, both returning champions. We have Fizza Dasani is back. How you doing, Fizza? Fizza? Hey! Woo-hoo! Hey, okay. I'm there, trying we to... there we are. I'm good, I'm good. Um, I'm at home, I'm in boxers. Uh, I can't complain. I'm getting a foot massage because I have a little foot massage thingy Ooh. underneath the desk. Nice. That was nice. What, you also have, you didn't tell us you're a mother. Oh, no, I'm not. That's my friend and her daughter. I'm not a mom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know Fizza that well, but I know there's no way she's a mom. There's no chance. <laughs> it wouldn't be the right thing. It wouldn't be the right thing. Take that baby out of the corner. It's bothering me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Nobody puts baby in the corner. We also have Alex Hooper is back. Alex, how you doing, buddy? Oops. Oh, I'm yeah. lovely. Thanks for having yeah. me. I got the, by the way, I got the memo that we're supposed to be standing up. I guess nobody else applied to that. <laughs> but, no. Sure. You're supposed to stand for your stand-up set, not for the whole 90 minutes. Yeah, oh, thank crazy. God. Okay, good. I'm just going to there. Yeah. Yeah, you, don't look like a, you don't look like a guy who stands for 90 minutes a lot. Is that your thing? <laughs> I'm only I can see, during sex, like, you, you only head, during you, sex. You headline for 65 <laughs> minutes and then sit the rest of the time, I imagine, in all day is what I imagine. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very stable. Alex, what like one of our fans uh, got for all of us after your set. Um, they got us dick slinkies. <laughs> Get yes. out of here. I I, dick that is too. amazing. Wow, I'm I'm kind of offended she didn't send me one too, but oh, I get it. Got one. Uh, <laughs> mine's bigger than yours, Fizza. Yeah, mine doesn't have the girth, but it has hey, the length. It's I not the size of the slinky; it. it's the way that it gyrates it down the steps. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's not the size of the slinky; it's the shrinky and the dinky. Am I wrong? Damn, you're not wrong. <laughs> Ben, did you get yours caught, caught on your penis? Because my, mine has an edge I didn't expect. <laughs> <laughs> I tried not to cut myself with metal objects ever since Mike Paramore ruined my hands. <laughs> <laughs> my camera's fully broken and I can't get it to stay. What are you doing, by the way? I can't You're get my camera to stay around. stable. It's driving me insane. Well, we're Do this for 90 minutes. <laughs> yeah, probably could. Or could I have Alex come to your house and hold it up while he's standing up? That could help, maybe. I don't really want Alex. <laughs> I don't really want Alex to hold to one slinky, and it belongs to my partner. She told me not to touch anyone else's slinky. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. I'm so sorry that I'm floating here. This is insane. <laughs> it looks kind of cool, really. I mean, just, you know, like you're... I don't know what he's doing. No, anyway, no. uh... <laughs> So, uh, anybody else excited Rush Limbaugh died, or are you guys? Oh, like, I, I, I'm pretty excited. Like, you know, for every, for every Major League Baseball player we've lost, which I've been sad about, it makes up for it when we lose one Rush <laughs> and Hank Aaron. Oh, okay. To trade. We just can't have people that are sowing discord and selling lies to people for ratings anymore. I'm sick of that shit. No. Generals, everybody. I'm gonna go through some generals. Generals, wipe. Please. I'm so focused on what Ben's doing, but I can't look away. So, uh, Bunce sent the show five bucks and said, uh, five bucks to bring Steve back from the dead. Feel so sorry about that missing comma in the beginning. Uh, and then Frankie Berman, Rachel, I'm glad today is Wednesday and it's not Friday. It's, <laughs> I got confused yesterday. That's all right, right? It happens, you're allowed to get confused. I can confuse all the fucking time. I can't even get my goddamn camera to stay still. <laughs> <laughs> been at it for a minute, Ben. I don't know, is this going to be an ongoing thing for the show? I swear this is not meant to be a gag. I cannot get the damn you camera. Even, you don't even look close to getting it fixed to whatever you're trying to put it on. Wait. How's that? There it is. This Woo! is pretty, I think Alex and Fizz we'll might take get this. We'll take it. Hey, when, you. you ever notice when you do a podcast? <laughs> no. <laughs> when, when you do a podcast, it always takes them an hour 40 to set up the podcast equipment. You always get there at like noon and then you sit there for an hour and a half while they try to get... Nope, my headphones aren't working. What the fuck? Okay, push this button. Like it never just works. It's fucking always an hour and a half. We try to not... What, is that your ear, Ben? I don't know. It's very hard. <laughs> It's very hard to get <laughs> set up properly. That's why rappers always still have to adjust the headphones during the track. They're like, turn the headphones up a little bit. You're, the song's already going. This is the final song. Yeah, but meanwhile, we're sitting in some random white dude's closet in his bedroom, and we're like, this is not the studio I signed up for. <laughs> right? That's everybody's experience. I agree. I've been fed a lot of warm cheese during podcasts, and it's not acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> and then you agree to a podcast, and literally everyone that listens is on the mic right then. It's like, we could I just <laughs> hung out with you guys. We didn't need to record this. I could just talk to you guys in your living room. I don't think we need to put this out anywhere. No one listens to this thing. <laughs> All right. Let's give it a hard five. Four, three. I think it's going to my camera fixed. I, finally I think it's going it. to work this time, Ben. Nice job. <laughs> oh, man, I got <laughs> All right, Rachel, let's do a set while we're waiting on bed. Well, first, I've got a good intro for the set. Um, Chris right. LaBelle sent Fizz a five bucks and said, using a cute baby to get extra tips? Shameful, but here, it worked. Here's five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get to a set. You've seen her pimp babies, now see her do comedy. Fizz of the Sony, everybody. Woo! <laughs> 
<laughs> no babies were hurt, uh, I promise. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know me, my name is Fizza. That's my government name. Uh, I'm not in the Wu-Tang Clan. Please stop asking. I have too many vowels in my name. It's not F-Z-A. It's spelled F-I-Z-A-A. But it's not pronounced Fizza. It's, it's not pronounced Fizza. It's just pronounced Fizza. One of the A's is silent. <laughs> I don't know which one. I don't know. Maybe they take turns like twin babies playing the same role in a, in a sitcom or something. My last name is Dasani, like the water. One time someone forgot my last name and they're like, Fizza Aquafina? <laughs> and I appreciate a good mnemonic technique. I swear I do. But it's like, damn, like I couldn't get something a little more top shelf. Like when the pandemic started, like everything was sold out in the bottled water section except the Aquafina. Like give me something a little more top shelf. Like, you know, like, like Fizza uh, Fiji water, you know, something fancy or like, you know, like, give me a quality, you know, like Fizza smart water. I went to Florida public school. I don't mean to brag, but I went to Florida public school <laughs> or like, you know, like get creative. Fizza Perrier, Fizza carbonated, Fizza Perrier. That's that smart. That's that's creative. It's you be me. He might as well have said Fizz of Flint, Michigan tap water. It's <laughs> <laughs> trying to bring awareness. <laughs> My uh, I'm a big fan of uh, vigilante justice. I <laughs> before the pandemic, I used to wear pigtails so I could catch a predator. Gotcha. <laughs> I'm 33. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm 30. <laughs> I wrote that shit when I was 33. <laughs> <laughs> I um I'm enjoying sort of like staying in the house a lot. Like I think I did too much too much stuff before the pandemic started. Like I accompanied my, they're practicing Muslims. My parents are Muslims and I accompanied them on their Islamic pilgrimage to Mecca in Saudi Arabia. What were you doing before the pandemic? I don't even care because it can't compare. Anyway, it was like, it was, it, you know, it wasn't my idea. Like I didn't, you know, I, I just didn't want to, I didn't want to get snatched up but I like, I wanted to make sure they were safe. So I went there, women are second class citizens. I had to cover everything. I have a lot of hair, a lot of baby <laughs> hair. I have really a lot of baby hair. I brushed it away, but you can't see it. So I was wearing the hijab and it was like a hundred degrees and I was sweating and my baby hair was falling out from under my hijab and everyone was looking at me like I was about to have a nip slip on my forehead. You know, like I'm walking around with forehead titty and I don't have time to explain why. Just believe women because that's what we started doing like two, two weeks ago, right? But like all the men were wearing togas with no underwear. It was awesome. It was awesome. I've never seen more dick in my life than when I went to Saudi Arabia. And I've been to an orgy by accident, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was booked on a show and I get there and everyone's fucking. Um, I went back and I read the booking email. It said nudity is not necessary, but it's encouraged. I skipped over that, obviously. <laughs> and I get there and they're like, where do you want to do your set? And I'm like, my mind is blown. Cause like, imagine you're making love to your partner and someone starts doing stand up next to you. Like what? <laughs> What's worse than oh, that? No. What's worse than that? But I wanted to get paid, you know? So I was like, okay, what can I do? Like stand-up's probably not appropriate, but maybe I could do like, like a play-by-play, -play, you know? Like I could like do a little <laughs> sports cast of what's going on. And I look over and I see a granny porn star that I recognize, please don't ask. And, and, and <laughs> this lady is going at it. Like, you know, she's like elbow deep in herself, playing herself like a puppet. And like, you know, I'm, oh. a, I'm, a, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a, I'm a, I'd say I'm a very like, you know, progressive person, but like, damn, you know, like that's not my thing. But then I got to thinking, I was like, I'm in an orgy. I don't want to talk about it. I want to be about it. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, like, you know, I don't get laid, but I do get paid for the gig, which I can appreciate because most of the time as a comedian, you know, we want to get paid and we end up getting fucked. So all in all, I think <laughs> I ended up doing okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I, I'm not a big fan of dating sites. Um, but I do like how specific they are. Like Tinder is specifically for having sex with trash fires. We can all agree with that, right? You're setting shit on fire, something magical happens. I was doing a show pre-pandemic pre and there was a, a couple in the audience and they were so in love. It was beautiful. And like, I was really like rooting for them until I found out they met on Tinder. And then I was extremely pissed. I was pissed. I'm like, that's not what Tinder's for. Tinder's for f having sex with trash fires. Finding love <laughs> on Tinder is like going to Home Depot asking for milk and they have it. 
<laughs> not what it's for. Not what it's for. I'm a little worked up because I found out my mom secretly made a profile for me on an Indian matrimonial site. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. So you know what I did? I secretly signed the bitch up for Grinder. True story. Gotcha, bitch. Don't tell her I called her a bitch. I love my mom and she would not be happy about that. I'm Fizza Dasani. Thank you so much. And, and I'm, I'm, it's an honor to be here. Thank you. I texted your mom right before you said not to tell your mom. <laughs> Fizza Dasani, the tip jar is open. You can PayPal in the upright of the screen or Venmo or whatever it is. SDSCshow.com for Venmo. And you can super chat as well on the YouTube. It's fine. Fizza, I, li I like the idea of you commentating orgies like Joe Rogan commentates the UFC. That would be hilarious. <laughs> oh, he's got her a rear naked choke and she has no answer for his offense. Like that would... That's a dream job. She's that wet. Is... She's very wet. This is brought to you by Dasani Water. <laughs> Throw in the towel. Throw in the towel. <laughs> Throwing in the towel just means you're going to keep going and you need to clean up real quick. That's fantastic. So, so wait, so you were doing comedy while people were fucking? Or were you the pre-show? Was it like, like were you like uh, open for a band? Or were you literally during the show? Okay, so like, it was, my friend booked me on the show and she didn't tell me what to expect, but it was like a live stream sex show. But it's also like Ooh. sex positive, like, edu it was weird. It was like, I didn't expect it. I was wearing like a sublime hoodie and sweatpants. I wasn't ready. I thought I was just going to tell stand up and... <laughs> And go I'd like home. to say, I told her everything beforehand. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how do you not how do you not give more information when they're going to do a live sex show? You think that's one you might want to give a little more of a clear, rounded picture. And, and no offense, oh Alex, but if Alex called me and said, Hey, you want to do a comedy show? I'd be like, This isn't one of those orgy comedy shows, is it? That would be my first thought, just knowing <laughs> you. That would I would have to ask. <laughs> I didn't even tell you um, Ron Jeremy was there. Like, oh, was of course he was. Yeah. <laughs> I have to say that. He's always Wait, there. Was he doing stand-up or was he fucking? <laughs> he was just sitting there smelling bad. He asked me to sit in his lap and I refused politely. And I, you know, I, I'm glad. <laughs> he, like, it was, he smelled bad. He really did. Well, yeah. No, you know, no shade, but like, it was difficult. <laughs> he owns one pair of sweatpants. He never changes it. <laughs> <laughs> I can relate to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. By the way, this is what it must be to, like to live with a stamp comedian, which I don't think I've ever done, but you're doing a set, and I think at the exact time that you said the line, this old lady was elbow deep in herself like she was a puppet. Your roommate just walked and like was making eggs in the background. Didn't even look, <laughs> even glance over. It wasn't even part of the equation. <laughs> oh, they, Not, don't, they don't pay any attention to me anymore. No, they get it. <laughs> Yeah, my neighbors from across the hall came over the other day and they were like, what is all this insane laughter for an hour and a half every afternoon? I'm like, I can't explain all of this. <laughs> you should just look at them next time and say, every day at around three o'clock, Chrissy likes to tickle me. You want to come? <laughs> <laughs> I found food, by the way. Thank goodness. Oh, good. Oh, oh, good. good. <laughs> hey, Rachel, we got any tips coming in? Yes, we do. Dave Adler sent in five bucks and said, "Fizz a great set. I met my milk at Home Depot three weeks in, still not curdle. And then it's a VW bug with like just married stuff on it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We also had Abby Wright send you 10 bucks and said, Fizza, is the commentary on an orgy a blow by blow account? Yes. <laughs> I should give you $10 back so I could buy that off you. <laughs> add that to my set, blow by blow. That is nice. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the tag. Uh, you, were, you were calling balls and strikes. <laughs> <laughs> balls and dikes. I'm sorry. I don't know the term. Foul play. Foul play. <laughs> play balls. Play with balls. Oh, it's up and in. <laughs> Just outside. <laughs> that guy's got four balls and suddenly he's very popular. That's what we call chin music. <laughs> That's a four bagger. He's going to score. We, is this one a switch hitter? <laughs> That's right. He can go both ways. 
Yeah. Yeah, when he taps his elbow to go to the pen, it means something different. <laughs> uh oh, the manager's walking out to the mound. This cannot be good, everybody. <laughs> How many more do you think we could do? Oh, I, mean, I think that's it. Six hours? <laughs> I can wait. It's okay. I can wait. Uh, Kim Stewart uh, tipped you five bucks, was it, and said, uh, for a trim uh, of your forehead nipple. Oh, I got you, Kim. I got you. <laughs> Jack makes that in five Canadian and said, I started smiling as soon as I heard your parents um, on Hajj. Uh, sounds like enough road trip comedy material for life. Hashtag Tinders for trash fires. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm glad that you, you it took half my set for you to start smiling. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, no, that's the most comic answer of all time. That really how is. Feel. <laughs> like and I've told this story on the show before, really but my is. favorite ever, my buddy Kostaki Kanamopoulos, we're doing a show in Dayton, Ohio. There's 12 people in the crowd. And I said, dude, don't worry about it. Last week, me and Richie Reagans had a show of 15 people, best 15 person crowd of all time. And Kostaki goes, so you're saying Richie Reagan's a better draw than me? I'm like, fuck you. That's not what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> we're such haters it's of ourselves. It's so yeah, it's unbelievable. Yeah, somebody compliments one joke and we're like, that's the only joke you liked, oh, really? Okay. okay. Yeah. So you didn't like wow. the rest of them then? No, I liked that one that I, well, what about the rest? Yeah, <laughs> anyway, I think he enjoyed the whole set, but he's super smart. Okay, Rachel. I'm what just teasing. Okay. It's, a little, it's a little bit like, not exactly like, but a little bit like what has happened with, with my snack here, I always check the calorie count on food, but no matter what it says, I 100% will continue eating it. So why do I even check? It's like, oh, a thousand calories? Sure, that's good. <laughs> you check the calories, but never the serving size. That's where your problem lies. Yeah. Well, at least, I do. At that point, you're making a choice. You know, you're not going into it blindly. So I can appreciate it. There you go. That's the Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It's a bad choice, but it's still a choice, which will yeah. give you credit. Rachel, what else we got? Uh, Anna Hood, Fizza sent you five bucks. So thank you, Anna. Thank you. Just Walt, um, five bucks for each comic. He, they said, he said, you're great. Thank you. Nice. Pam Brown, five bucks. Fizza, Aquafina was not great, but at least it wasn't LaCroix. Fabulous set. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Fizza LaCroix, it, I'm not French. LaCroix. <laughs> if they ever did make sparkling Dasani water, they probably should call it Fizza Dasani. You know? I'm That's... Saying. If I ever a chance yeah. to introduce you, Fizza, in real life, like hopefully you will, we'll do a show at the Ice House or something, and I'm hosted, and I'm going to introduce you as Fizza Pond Water, just because it's going to make. Me <laughs> <laughs> and only me and you will get the joke, but it will laugh. We'll both laugh a whole bunch. Oh, we will. You, you'll you'll laugh a whole bunch. I don't know about Fizza. You'll laugh. Okay. Or the crowd. <laughs> that don't matter. Uh, Cass sent you five bucks and said, I feel your pain with the baby hairs that happens to me every day at work. <laughs> These baby, like right now they're staying, right now they're staying down, but sometimes they're like up in the air. It's like, it looks like I have bangs. It's, it's weird. So, so people are turned on by little baby hairs sneaking out of the front of the hijab. Yeah. Cause like, if you don't see hair, you know, any little snippet of yeah. it's going to be like, you know, like the eyes are, you know, like. They would cover everything. The women would cover everything. That's why I don't think it's necessary for me to manscape because if you don't see it often, it's exciting when you do. <laughs> <laughs> you still got to be able to see it, it though, Ben. Oh, oh, oh falling out of your jeans. <laughs> you don't like little robin's eggs in a nest, Rach? That's what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> Under a nest. Oh, they sit on top. Like, okay, anyway. <laughs> they sit on top? What? Of what? Your pubic hair is under your balls, right? <laughs> what? Right your pubic hair is not under your balls. <laughs> what kind of upside down anatomy do you have about? No, no, you're not. I don't think you are. I think you just you just got it called out, and you're pretending like you're fucking. I think your pubic hair is under your balls, like your beard goatee is under your chin of your head. My balls sit right. I have, I have a, a hairy taint. I'm sorry, that's what it is. Oh my god, is your taint trying to get into a bar underage and putting on like extra facial hair? Oh. Are you not into underage taint? I Doesn't came out that. wrong. Out really wrong. No call to save you on that one. All right. True. Uh, let's see. 
Frankie Berman sent you 10 bucks and said, Fizz a great set and I'll be avoiding Grinder from now on. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for being respectful too. <laughs> and not, not coming on to my mom. So, Hello. Um, dinner was really late. Uh, let's see. We also had Dana sent you five bucks and it said, bitch. Fizza, my mom keeps trying to get me to stop saying fuck. I don't have the heart to tell her that that's one of my polite swears. Fuck <laughs> that. <laughs> and that's uh, the polite version. Let's see, there were some generals I've got. Hadley tipped the show and said, don't forget that when Jer Jerry Garcia died, Limbaugh called him just another dead doper and a dirtbag. Good riddance. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. See, that's my point. Oh, boy. I mean, how could you not honor a man who did so much for the ice cream flavor world? It's crazy. <laughs> ah, <that's> stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Cass sent uh, 10 bucks uh, for Rachel for that sick burn on Ben. Thank you so much. Which one? The one that you just did right now that she tipped right, instantly? Right in this moment. No, no, no. It was, she she was that other one. Tipping. She said you can't grow your pubes so long you can't see your dick. That's the joke she made earlier. Yeah. So I, you know what? We can keep going. Alexander Breyer said, Rachel, you'll probably get to this tip a lot faster today, I'm guessing. <laughs> <laughs> it's true there's less steve to interrupt so that's that's, <laughs> that's good um you guys were caught up oh my gosh right i don't think it's all just steve we all interrupt in a circle he just is one part of the circle <laughs> <laughs> we we're getting quicker today so there you go if anything else you want to talk about or we want to bring alex on oh yeah so um this friday i'm actually hosting my very own late night show um at the nowhere comedy club nice which is where we are that's where we are right now right no nope. right well, it's not but it's related it's kind of like a sister situation yeah it's, it's, okay yeah same same okay so yeah it's um, called your late night show tell us about it yeah so it's every month they have a new comedian um hosting and this month's mine i would say it's like oprah winfrey meets peewee Herman's Playhouse. I'm really excited. So if you guys want to come, I'm going to put the ticket link here and I hope to see you guys live on Friday. Yeah, it's a really oh. cool show. And they and book like pretty amazing, le legit people as these hosts. This is kind of like, this is like cementing you, I feel like in the upper echelons now, you know? Oh, thank you. Oh, and my, um, I'm having a guest interview with Taylor Tomlinson. So Ooh, if you don't great. come for me, come for Taylor. <laughs> and I just put it, uh, the link into the YouTube chat. So <laughs> thank you. So, and Thomas stay in is... touch. I'm on Instagram. It's, it's my, um, I'll put the link for that too. Well, what stay in just... touch, slide in my DMs. Just say it to us. Uh, it's Fizza Dasani, F I Z A A D O S A N I. Um, my whole <laughs> beginning part of my set was spelling my name. So, and yeah, but that's not how you spell Dasani water, just for the record. Yeah, so it's right here, right? Isn't there like a thing? Yeah, that they, the they don't see that in the YouTube. That's the on the YouTube oh. video. You're good. Trying to get to um, okay. Randy Longmire wants to know, Fizza, is uh, Ron Jeremy going to be there? <laughs> <laughs> you know, he hasn't RSVP'd, but I'm, I'm, Son you know what? Bitch. We, I'd let him in. It's, it's interesting that Randy Longmire wants to know about Ron Jeremy. That's funny. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, he might be in prison actually. Yeah, I think so, he went to jail. For I think he, yeah. He can still like, you know, it's it's nowhere comedy. <laughs> and he, he can always be nowhere. From the prison library computer, is that what you're gonna have him do? He's gonna zoom in from the prison library? <laughs> that would be actually pretty impressive. If he has the opportunity, why not? And it's not too late for him to reinvent himself as a gay porn star. So he's got a new <laughs> chapter I, in I his actually, career now. I heard he raped a guy in the cell next to his without even leaving his own cell. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> <laughs> it went out through the bars and twisted back around to the other person. I, I, I'm imagining every scene in a movie where they're using that broom to try to get the keys off the off the uh, the. the <laughs> <laughs> He's just using his dick. <laughs> uh, uh, here, here, pass it to me, Rachel. Thank you very much. <laughs> And then they keep falling on the ground. He has to keep throwing it over and pull, dragging it back, trying to catch him. <laughs> How do we all have slinkies? Well, somebody sent us slinkies. We don't know why you have a slinky. <laughs> <laughs> 
I just got this yesterday. It's been at Ben's house for eight weeks, but I got it yesterday. Uh, yeah, I have to make sure it clears customs, Bowers. Okay, and we got to make sure that it that it. I don't oh, know. I just said Bowers in a very aggressive way, the way that uh, Tim McLaughlin does. Bowers. <laughs> no, oh my God, that was a good Tim McLaughlin. You understand Bowers? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good tip. Uh, Cool. Well, hey, Fizzle, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. You can stick around as long as you want. Wait, no, she's sticking around till four. I mean, whatever you got to do, Fizzle, but we need Fizz on this in this show here. Yeah, so, I'm going to hang for like 15 yeah, minutes. Yeah, just hang out. Just when you're ready to bounce, bounce. We love you, and we'll see you next time. But, Alex, are you ready? Are we ready for a set? Let's do another set here. I think we're ready for that. Yeah. Come to the stage right now. It's Dick Slinky himself. <laughs> Alex, who's <laughs> everybody? <laughs> Woo! Hi, everyone. Thank you, by the way, for whoever sent those slinkies. The Dick Slinky legacy lives on in a moment of riffing that I completely forgot about until I signed in. (laughs) So full disclosure, everybody that's in the front row, I had COVID last month. I got it. Yay. (laughs) I say I got it, but really it got me. Like, it's not like a guest star on a sitcom where I'm like, I got it. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know how it got me because I was doing everything correctly. Like, I was still eating out at my favorite hot bat soup restaurant, but we were dining (laughs) outdoors. There was no way that happened because you can't get it outdoors. We all know that. (laughs) uh, The homeless man who spits in my mouth every single morning when I leave my apartment building. He was still doing it, but he was spitting into a condom before I put it in my mouth. So again, (laughs) that wasn't it. And a lot of people have told me, they're like, Alex, what about that sex club that you go to every Wednesday? And I was like, no. I know why you think that, but our sex club moved outdoors to a public park. We started meeting in the (laughs) middle of the day. We put dildos on the end of six foot poles and we're jamming them in from a socially distanced way. I actually, I ate a woman out by attaching 12 straws together and just sucking like I was trying to get the brownie at the bottom of a milkshake. I was like... literally just saw that I had a prop waiting on this table right here, and I was like, I'm going to use a prop. Hey, everybody. People tell me I look like Carrot Top. I might as well lean the hell in, right, everyone? <laughs> I do spend a lot of time in the park uh, being unemployed at this point. There's nowhere else for me to go. But early on in quarantine, this uh, I slackline as a hobby. Uh, for those of you that don't know what that is, it's basically like tightrope walking. You tie a piece of webbing between two trees and you walk on it. And a mother of a seven-year-old saw me doing this one day and said, Please. My son goes to virtual school. There's no summer camps. His dad walked out on us years ago. I need him to be outside. I need him to learn a skill. Will you teach him how to slack line? So I became employed as a one man summer camp. (laughs) (laughs) And I was happy about it because I was like, okay, I'm going to be a dad in a couple of years, probably because I will run out of material. (laughs) (laughs) so this is a great way to practice and so everything was going really well i like this kid a lot he was doing really great on the slack line but on the fifth lesson something happened that was very concerning he fell off the rope landed on his feet but then he looked at me and he goes i'm never gonna be able to do it i hate myself i hate myself a seven-year-old child saying I hate myself broke my heart. I got down on one knee and I put my hand on his shoulder. I looked right in his eyes and I said, Sebastian, we do not say that we hate ourselves until we're in our 20s. (laughs) (laughs) And we understand why we hate ourselves. You can't hate yourself at seven. You haven't done anything yet to hate yourself. You haven't stolen money out of your mom's purse so you can go buy drugs. (laughs) You haven't dropped out of community college without a backup plan because you're too good for that shit. (laughs) 
You've never knocked up your best friend's girlfriend and then convinced her to get an abortion because it was better for us. <laughs> <laughs> Sebastian, you can't hate yourself yet. You don't have a reason. And I haven't even gotten to your physical appearance yet. <laughs> <laughs> you have terrible hair. You have bony little elbows. You have a turned up nose. You're short as fuck, Sebastian. You are going to spend your entire life finding reason after reason to hate yourself, both emotionally, physically, spiritually, and mentally. But today, Sebastian, is not that day. So back on that slack line, you need to take two steps for camp counselor. And that's when I knew, everybody. I'm going to be a moderately good father. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody. Alex okay. Hooper, everybody. <laughs> One quick thing. Since Fizz had a baby in the background, she got an extra tip. <laughs> yes. Oh, what did he... Oh, fuck. It's a big tip. There's a very ugly baby, dude. <laughs> <laughs> <Very sick. laughs> The tip jar is open for Alex and his ugly baby. You can Venmo the top right of the screen, PayPal at sdscshow.com, Super Chat on the YouTube. Uh, very, very funny set. Oh, that straw that visual that came to life in a very, very strange, funny way. <laughs> yeah. no, that was Sebastian at the end. That was just a dog? Okay, my bad. Uh, <laughs> why did you have a blowout thing on your table randomly? What's that about? The other day, a, a friend of mine had a little, like, rooftop, very small birthday party, and so we brought those over, and nobody touched them, and they just happened to be sitting on the desk that I'm next to, and I realized it right before I was going to do that joke, and I was like, well, I'm not above it. <laughs> Dude, I mean, I mean, it's it's nice sometimes in, in the pen. I know we're in a pandemic, but to keep some level of, of, like, respect for your own craft, though, and not just sink to any level, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I did a gig last week, Ben, where I took a dog with a bath in a pound bathtub. So I'm really, <laughs> all of my morality and all of my shame is completely gone. I'm willing to do anything at this point. You mean point. to say you took a bath with a dog in a pound do bathtub? <laughs> yeah. A you said that backwards, but sadly we knew what you meant. <laughs> so what do you, what do you mean? Yeah. What show was that? Yeah, what does that mean? <laughs> I was I was helping dogs get adopted from the Long Beach Animal Rescue, and they were having me like interview the dogs for like potential homes, like as a joke. And at the end, they were like, "Wouldn't it be so funny if you got in a bath with a dog?" I was like, "There's no bath here." They're like, "There's a dog bath." And I was like, "How much are you paying me?" And they're like, "We'll add to it." And I was like, "Get me in the tub, baby." So they, they pitched it as, "Wouldn't that be funny?" But really, their thought was probably. We'll, we'll we'll adopt more dogs if people see like we need to get them away from that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I think they just yeah. realized he had fleas, and this was the easiest way to get the flea. Back. <laughs> <laughs> they did find a tick, so look out, everybody! Lyme disease is very real. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh Lord. Rach, we got Fizza. Fizza, do you have an animal? No. <laughs> Good talk. Good talk. <laughs> I have a stuffed animal. That'll work. You want to show us? <laughs> no. no. Rachel, we get coming. In. I get it. Uh, <laughs> so we did have um, before Alex is set. Uh, Zara tipped Fizz a five bucks and said she ain't nothing to fuck with. Nice. Thank you, Zara. <laughs> And then Pam sent in five bucks and said, Alex, I hope for a fabulous ensemble you did not disappoint. Bowers obviously hasn't seen your tight line videos or he wouldn't have made the can't stand for 90 minutes crack. Thank you very much, Tam. You are exactly right. Thank you. What are tight line videos? So I can, I can stay on, I can walk on a slack line for three hours without falling off, like a one inch piece of climbing webbing. Let's How see. high? If anyone do you... goes to my yeah. Instagram right now, like I tried it's to great. do it the other day on a on a line that was a hundred feet tall. So if anyone goes to my Instagram, there's video of me sitting on a line a hundred feet in the air and trying to walk on it. Very impressive. How, how, how did that go? 
Uh, I didn't make it, uh, but <laughs> I, I mean, I tried and I whipped around and I fell off the line. I was wearing a leash and I climbed back up and hung like a bat upside down. So I was pretty proud of that. <laughs> wow. Heck yeah. Nice. I take it. Terrible. Now that I know this, the bath with the dog thing sounds like a step up. <laughs> <laughs> they were both very terrifying experiences for different reasons. I get that. Yeah. Holy <laughs> shit. Wow. Well, good for you, man. I'm going to check that out for sure. Yeah, mm. thanks. Let's see. Ray Benjamin sent each comic five bucks. Thank you, Ray. Ray. Uh, Andrea Gordon, five bucks. Alex, uh, for Alex, he is right. I heard Ron Jeremy raped another inmate in the next cell. The crazy thing is, as the story goes, he did it on accident. He didn't even know it was happening. <laughs> <laughs> Morning Wood is a bitch, everybody. <laughs> Uh, oh, so dumb. Morty Wood makes you a bitch. It's in prison. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> some of these jokes, all I can think about is Steve would be so disappointed to hear some of these things. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> we had a Technics Tip 5 Canadian. Alex, have the kids so your bad jokes become dad jokes. Bad jokes, dad jokes, bad dad jokes. We understand why we hate ourselves. Hashtag raise them right until 20. <laughs> yeah, see, when I, in that story where that kid was telling him he hated himself, I thought you were going to advise him to become a stand up comic. So I thought that's how it worked. <laughs> hating I mean, yourself is almost a anything. direct line to a comedy stage. I thought that's where he was going. But. I also feel like maybe a better parenting approach that I would probably take is just kind of tear them down before you build them back up. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. kind of a Cobra Kai approach. I just want to know what mother sees me alone in a park walking on a tightrope and goes, I would like to introduce you to my son. <laughs> <laughs> I've talked to a lot of parents during this pandemic with Zoom teaching school or whatever. I think she probably was good no matter what happened at that point. Yeah. <laughs> it's like either he learns the slack line or this guy steals him. Either way, I got some time to myself. <laughs> I mean, plus the benefit of virtual learning and all the stuff on Zoom is even if your kid's kidnapped, you can still see them a lot. Right? <laughs> and you get, I mean, statistically, you have 48 hours till you kill them. So, I mean, you got some time to buy yourself before you have to go look for them, really. You have to go buy a magazine, cut out all the letters. There's a lot of steps. <laughs> I'm assuming. You just you really cut up magazines beforehand. To kidnap so it's ready. Oh, well, that's a strong point, Taylor. I guess some people are planning their kidnappings in advance, huh? Taylor, Taylor that's, pre that's, pre that's premeditation. Now that's kidnapping one. If you just have right. to see it and you buy the magazine later, that's kidnapping two. You got to be exactly right. I'm dedicated. I'll tell you this. For anyone who wants the to sequel. kidnap a kid, candy doesn't work anymore. They want stock options, everybody. I'm going to that right now. A Netflix password might work. But family... It's it's not gonna do it. Okay, I'm gonna head back to the store. My mistake. <laughs> Goddamn pumps. Uh, let's say Kim Stewart sent him five bucks. Alex, great set. Nice. Cassie sent him five bucks to fund summer camp. <laughs> Ron Gold, five bucks for Alex. Uh, strictly just for showing us the dog. <laughs> it worked. I did it. It worked. It worked. <laughs> oh, does Fizz is holding up her? Oh, Slinky. I thought it was the stuffed animal. Never mind. <laughs> well, I sleep with this. <laughs> <laughs> also, Fizz, just imagine how much more you would have made if you took that baby and kind of very aggressively, awkwardly shook him and held him by the camera too. <laughs> I know. I know. I would have. I would have gotten a twenty. <laughs> her sentence in prison. <laughs> right next to Ron Jeremy, right? Don't put me next to Ron, man. Don't oh, put me next to Uncle Ron. Imagine how bad he smells in prison. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh I don't have to imagine. <laughs> oh, God. The only I mean, way that makes sense that if you're visiting up. him in prison. That's the only way that makes <laughs> I mean, it was bad enough not in prison. So, you know, I'm good. You know, he hit the threshold of, of nasty. Got it. So anything worse than that, I just would faint, I think. Was it a B.O. smell or like a random soup? What, what did he smell like? It was B.O. Okay. Yeah. But it was like, you know, accumulated B.O. from like decades. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Lay there for a while. He had a unique aroma. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, it's, we can go in on him, right? Isn't he in no. jail? Like, oh, yeah. yeah, we can go in on him. Oh, yeah. We've probably He's a hit it plenty. Yeah. Yeah. He's a monster. Agreed. Rachel? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm for this. <laughs> oh, you want to get some more tips? Yep. Okay, cool. Ron Jeremy was almost on this show one time in the very beginning. That was, and, thank God. And he got arrested two days and, later. And then two days later, he went to jail. I'm like, oh, we're glad we didn't have him on then. We like, oh, I had a line on him. We almost had him. And then, you know, he went to prison. What does that say about this show? That he was like, oh, I'd rather go to jail. Yeah. <laughs> in his <laughs> options. He was like, I guess I've already hit rock bottom. May as well. He was doing stand-up for, <laughs> wasn't he doing stand-up for a minute? Mm. I think so, yeah. I don't know. I mean, one, one, time call it that. one time he played piano during one of my sets at the improv when I got drunk on eggnog. Yeah, it is a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I used to do this 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 eggnog thing where every year I would get plasteredly drunk while trying to explain to people how to make a proper eggnog. And uh, I would try to top it every year. And so um, one time I I announced to the crowd, I said, I'm going to now – teach the eggnog thing while it being while it's scored musically live by the world's most famous classically trained pianist ladies and gentlemen ron jeremy <laughs> and it turns out he's a classically trained pianist and he played beautiful piano music while i got drunk and i got so drunk i forgot to say the whole line that i had planned for that which at the end when i excuse him off stage i was going to say that is a legendary pianist everybody that is a legend <laughs> didn't even say it well, we got to hear it, and that's all that matters, right? Because <laughs> <laughs> I know you got to head out. Do you want to do another plug? Yeah. So um, thank you so much for having me, guys. Super fun. Um, I'm hosting a late night show this Friday at Nowhere Comedy. I'll put the link in the chat, but um, it's one night only, literally one night only. Um, Pee Wee's Playhouse meets Oprah. And um, wear your seatbelt. <laughs> <laughs> and also everybody, so um, everybody's joining Clubhouse. A lot of our fans are, and Fizz is very active on Clubhouse. So find her on that as well. Oh, yes. I live on Clubhouse. I was on there for 48 hours straight one time. Isn't that disgusting? What? Jeez. Are you okay? <laughs> um, you know, I'm recovering. I'm getting through it. Okay. Hey, I have a question for Clubhouse people. Uh, when you, when a notification pops up on your phone, like, Hey, come join this. Whatever. If I click on it, I go in the room. I want to read what they're saying before I go in the room. Is there a way to find that? I can't, I'll ask somebody later. Anyway, it's been good seeing you, Fizza. <laughs> we'll yeah, talk to man. you next time. I don't need to ask that question now. I'm stupid. Anyway, if we love you. We'll see you next time. Are there any more tips from Alex, Rach? Yes. And, um, let's see. So we had Abby Wright, five bucks. Alex for the shameless use of the dog. <laughs> it's working. Yep. Uh, Spencer Muller sent, uh, tipped each comic and said, uh, and also for the show, they're also trying to learn how to write comedy and they appreciate this show. I wish I could do more. Thanks, Spencer. We Thanks. appreciate Thank you. you. Um, Anna Hood, five bucks. Alex, the jokes were good, but the dog upstaged you. <laughs> Always does. Yeah. All of your work now involves dogs. Pretty soon you're going to be walking on high wires while holding dogs. It's always going to be dog involved. <laughs> I tried that. My fiance got very upset with me. <laughs> oh, <I laughs> Slackline the dog. <laughs> Did you watch that uh, documentary? Of, what, what, what's the guy's name? The man on a wire? Philippe Petit. Philippe Petit. Yes. Did you watch that? Oh, yeah. What's it doing? Yeah, it's great. Did you learn any moves? It's it's I uh, the the beauty of that movie is is the heist of it all. Like when he finally gets out there, that's almost just like the cherry on top. But yeah, I mean, just to be able to like lay down like that in the middle of nothing, it's beautiful. I loved it. Yeah, it's, but but also he's like uh, it's it's all he does. It becomes such his one trick. Like I saw him give a talk one time at an outdoor festival, and he literally just started climbing the lighting trusses. He, he can't stand <laughs> in front of people. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not that far deep yet. yet. <laughs> uh, and I do want to say, too, if you follow uh, Alex on Instagram, when he hikes with his dogs, you see so much, like, amazing pug footage with their tongue, like, this oh. far out of their mouth when they're exhausted. It's the cutest goddamn thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Thank you. Pugs are great. It's true. Uh, let's see. Dana sent you five bucks and said, Alex, thanks so much for coming back in time for the dick slinkies. <laughs> I don't advocate for the world. drugging animals, but I bet 
pugs on drugs would be a pretty funny Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. I mean, my, my album is called Hugs, Drugs, Pugs, based on the three things that expanded my mind and opened my heart. Oh, <laughs> there you go. So sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's see. We also had Andrew Gordon tip Fizza five more bucks and said, uh, you say you don't put you in the cell. You say don't put you in the cell next to Ron, but you're in the danger zone if you're in the same cell block. <laughs> oh, damn. Well, then different cell block then. Thank you for the heads up because I wouldn't have known that. So. <laughs> He's definitely in cell block D. <laughs> you're gonna be a great dad alex great dad <laughs> oh my God. he is not for dad young boy it's for something um, talk about it once your self-esteem lowers <laughs> nice tam <laughs> and let's see patrick yokely 10 bucks um, from Hiroki, Yardley, Grace, Valentino, and Ellis to Alex's dogs from all of my kids to yours. Oh, thank you. Very cute. All right, guys, I think we're actually ready for the game now. All right, let's all right, play this guys. game. <laughs> all right. Uh, bye, Fizza. Okay, uh, so the game today is Fox Steve. We're going to mess up <laughs> him up in movie titles. So let's mess up him up. Let's mess up him up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you're in a front row, click on reactions and raise hand and I'll call on you. Um, these are the unpaid entries I liked. So Greg Murphy had love is in the air, Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Bernard de Jong sunburnt in 60 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> and Julia Credor had the wizard of Hoth. <laughs> Okay, front row. And so Alex, starting with the front row, these are the ones that we're gonna be voting on. So just remember your favorite one. Uh, Frank Berman. So I have seven. Um, I sent four <laughs> other to Rachel. So there was an old basketball movie called The Fish That Saved Pittsburgh. I went with The Shit That Saved Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. White gingers can't jump. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And then last but not least, um, Christy Swanson and Buffy the Ginger Slayer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Clean nice. Fiction. <laughs> Hayden. All right. I may have had a bit of fun with this one, so bear with me. I've got three of these. I've got, um, instead of Ocean's Eleven, I have Ocean's 484848. <laughs> <laughs> um, instead of Airplane, I have Air Canada. Nice. <laughs> movie where all the flights get canceled and no one gets their money back. And finally, instead of uh, Jamie Kennedy's documentary Heckler, it's actually the same movie, but uh, Steve owns it. <laughs> <laughs> I should mention to Adler, this is Photoshop. There's not actually a DVD sale happening. <laughs> <laughs> that is super meta, dude. I love that. <laughs> Adler, you're up next. All right. I really need that movie. Um, anyway, so my three, where to go? All right. So I have Steve and the Real Judy. <laughs> I have, dude, where's my car? Uh, oh, it's covered in those stickers. Uh, and the last one is National Lampoon's Ginger Kid. <laughs> Abby, you're up. Uh, I've got Dances with Hecklers, <laughs> Schindler's Text List, <laughs> and uh, Butch Cassidy and the Sunscreen Kid. Funny. Gosh. Hey. 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 I have um, Steve it to Stever. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, Dr. Heckler and Mr. Hydes from Chickens. <laughs> and um, four, eight, four, eight, four, eight mile. <laughs> Love your shirt, Gus. Oh. Uh, Chris LaBelle. All right, so I have uh, Con Air Canada. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
I don't know and I don't want to know what Steve's manscaping situation is, but I have hot fuzz. <laughs> you just assume it's hot. I love that. Sure. <laughs> uh, I have Thor 8, Thor 8, Thor 8. Thor 8, Thor 8, Thor 8. Is that what you said? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Blue corner, Bill. Can't hear you. God damn it, Bill. <laughs> Bill, you gotta get a different headset or something, dude. <laughs> what is this? Bring the mic, the mic down. Bring the mic down. It's like your first day as a gamer. What do we got going? <laughs> Oh, um, nope, still didn't work. We'll come, we'll come back to you. <laughs> Ehrlich. He buys a new mic before every show to keep it fresh, and it's not a great approach. <laughs> I, um, I have Dr. Hofstetter or How I Learned to Stop Raging and Love the Heckler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no writer could write a movie like that. <laughs> uh, Cassie. Um, I've got Home Alone, Real Alone. Um, <laughs> uh, powder, <laughs> Edward. What the fuck is wrong with your hands? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Anna. So I have three uh, Freaky Fingers Friday, <laughs> <laughs> Children of the Porn Stash. <laughs> <laughs> Mystic, how does pizza get here? <laughs> Bunster. Hello. Hello. Um, uh, a Steve smokes orange. <laughs> <laughs> a Steve what's orange? A Steve smokes orange. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Uh, Elizabeth. All right, so I've got a few here. Um, one flew over the ginger's nest. Nice. <laughs> no country for old red. <laughs> the Shawshank red henchin. Nice. nice. <laughs> and uh, the Philadelphia redhead story. <laughs> awesome. Pam? I have one. Yes. So I have the man with one red head. <laughs> 10 things I hate about hecklers and there's a video nice. clip to go with that <laughs> not powder but close <laughs> nice Frankie okay um, so this one I think I messed up on uh, my but the other one on point um, this would be his actual movie google it <laughs> publicly available information. <laughs> and the other one are remade movies. Instead of the color purple, the color red. <laughs> um, instead of good fellas, you got ginger fellas. <laughs> and um, my favorite movie, The Ginger Father. <laughs> uh, ladies next. Mine is very much like Ginger Father, but instead I have the Dog Father. Um, uh, nice. Yeah, nice. I have not under the Tuscan sun, because he might get a sunburn. <laughs> <laughs> and my last one is Verbal Fight Club. <laughs> nice. Uh, Blue Corner Bill. All right, I did the audio check. It should there be working you go. There we go. <laughs> I'm not Bill. <laughs> hey, there's all righty um i got half baked the day at ben's house <laughs> look who's talking now that i'm doing a joke <laughs> and uh nine oh, i don't like that one <laughs> ray Stop okay, it. I just have one. Ben and Steve's excellent adventure. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's no more virtual hands. Um, wave at me if you didn't figure out how to raise it and you want to do one live on air. Anybody else? That's good. Okay. Steel City Magnolias. Oh, Anna, yeah, that's a good one. 
Um, okay, so here are the rest of the entries. So we had Jonathan S. Between the spreadsheets. Oh. <laughs> uh, Jonathan S. A league of their own hecklers. Ah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Jonathan, uh, enemy at the gate, 53C. Ah. Oh. Never fuck. Wow. Well, how to lose Ben's election in 10 days. <laughs> it hurt so much. Randy Longmire, passenger 57, please return to gate 53C. <laughs> Curtis Mason, ginger snaps at Heckler. <laughs> uh. Curtis, the evil dead redhead. <laughs> uh, Frankie already said that one. Uh, Curtis Mason, Harry Hofstetter and the Goblet of Fire Crotch. Veronica, <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dr. Hofstetter, or How I Learned Not to Heckle and Love to Shut the Fuck Up. <laughs> <laughs> Alexander Breyer, you've got email, and then it's. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy Peterson, return of the Red Flanders. <laughs> <laughs> Razor, the sister of the traveling hack, Sharon's story. <laughs> Wendy, Steve Hofstetter lets the world die. <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, Frank Berman, did you say these other ones or no? I say these. No, no, no okay. I say those. Okay, so uh, Frank Berman's pretty in ginger, the Christy Swanson cut. <laughs> nice. Harold and Kumar escape the Steel City Arts Foundation. <laughs> Stop or that ginger will shoot. <laughs> Don't tell Gleeve that ginger comic is dead. <laughs> uh, Andrea Gordon, The School of Mock, a Steel City uh, Arts Fund documentary. <laughs> <laughs> Victoria Scattereggio, The Merchant of Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> and let's see if there's any more. Nope, those are all of them. All right, there's a bunch I really liked. Uh, Schindler's text list was funny. Uh, Edward, what the fuck's wrong with your hands? Elite of own mm -hmm. hecklers. But I gotta go just because it was so dumb and hilarious. Steve it to Stever. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was so funny, but it made me laugh. Alex, which one's your favorite? I I also wrote down uh, Steve it to Stevler. That was like, I mean, I, I thought uh, Hot Fuzz was great, not powder, but close. Uh, the look who's talking, white gingers can't jump, but Steve it to Stevler is the dumbest <laughs> thing I've ever heard, and it made me laugh. <laughs> Nice, right. I liked uh, League of Their Own Hecklers. Um, I liked How to Lose Ben's Election. Mm -hmm. um, Ocean's 4848, but I'm going to give it to Schindler's Text List. Nice. I like that one a lot. Ben. Man, Buffy the Ginger Slayer was great. Uh, Schindler's Text List. Edward, what the fuck is wrong with your hands? Look who's talking now that I'm doing a joke. How to Lose Ben's Election <laughs> in 10 days. But... I have to give it to the very meta creativity of Hayden, Steve owning the Heckler movie by literally owning it. <laughs> nice. Well, I think that's two votes for Steven to Stever, though. So I think that's what pulls it through. So uh, if that was yours, uh, uh, email us at sdscshow.com. Hey, Gus, and Wait, get your could prizes. Could Steve own Heckler or wouldn't he just destroy it? <laughs> yeah, that's true. The thing they did with disco records in the 70s, he would just buy a bunch of those and then destroy them in the middle of a baseball game. Uh, Alex, did you have any? Yeah, uh, so I have a uh, Hofstetter off dead. <laughs> nice. Where the redhead grows. <laughs> Billion ways to die at a comedy fest. <laughs> and then this one is uh, a little long, but how to be a menace in Pittsburgh while divorcing your Jew for good. <laughs> love it love it Rach how about you got I've got two Ben how many you got I got eight I got eight 
So Rach, do yours and do mine. Double back and forth. Okay. Uh, the Grudge, a story about Air Canada. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> and then Orange Sausage Party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ben, you want to go first or me first? You go ahead, brother. I got four, eight, four, eight, four, eight huds in a duffel bag. Yeah. <laughs> I've got orange follows his schedule like clockwork. <laughs> I've got there will be emails. <laughs> 12 years of Steve, then 30 more years of Steve. I had 40, 42 years of Steve, so there you go. Great minds. Uh, so I, I guess I just use that one. What's your next one? Red fellas. <laughs> I had the never ending penis. <laughs> it ended when Rachel broke up with him. Anyway, <laughs> I've got uh, here's where a comma really does come in handy. Chicken, run! <laughs> I have tears in the sun. <laughs> Do the red thing. <laughs> I had budget budget chicken run. Nice. Close. I've got the social network has algorithms that can be mastered to advantage your career in certain ways. <laughs> I got cock looks orange. <laughs> <laughs> I've got 2001 hecklers owned in 162 minutes. <laughs> And my last, so we all know the James Bond classic, Octopussy. This is Steve Hofstetter stars in Regular Pussy. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and, and my last one, 4-8 Gump. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a smart man, no, met Jenny, but I know what text is. Uh, all right. <laughs> It's Lady Doodle time. It's Lady Doodle time. It's time for Lady's Doodles. That's why it's that time. Lady Corbin. Life is like a box of unsold merch. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, exactly. Hi, Steve Hofstetter. <laughs> um, I have Bowers misusing the slinky. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That's almost dead on what happened. It doesn't go. Keep going. <laughs> Are you okay? Um, and then I have. Uh, I'll be giving you a spray by spray. <laughs> <laughs> and I have. You can just put that in front of that picture that you did the other day of your favorite comic with with the gangbang situation. <laughs> Oh dear God! Okay, um, then I have take my son. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I think this is the cutest little cartoon I've ever drawn. Oh, <laughs> little son. Uh, then I have Alex on his way to the party. <laughs> <laughs> And my last one, ding dong, the witch is dead. But which yeah. witch? <laughs> <laughs> That's it for me. Love it. Lady Corbin, yes, nice job. That art for my heroes. Was that me as Dorothy right there? Yeah, that's you as Dorothy, and there's little Henry. <laughs> Amazing. Aww. That's incredible. Wow. <laughs> Love it. Nice job. Alex, where do we find you at in the world, buddy? Uh, everything social media at Hooper Hair Puff, HooperComedy.com for upcoming tour dates. And also, everybody, I have a book on Amazon called Roast Yourself to Happiness. So if you need a self-help hilarious workbook, go get it. Nice. <laughs> All right, buddy. Well, thanks so much. We'll see you next time. We appreciate it. We'll have you back on very soon. Uh, as for me, you can find me at Bowers Comedy, as always. And tonight at 6 p.m. Pacific is Origin Stories with me and Queen Rachel and Katrina Davis. So check that out. Uh, you can either do our Patreon or you can go to uh, NowhereComedyClub.com and buy tickets. What? Ben, what you got coming up? Uh, tomorrow night, Steve and I are hosting uh, our first ever audio-only stand-up show on the Clubhouse app, so get an invite if you don't have one yet, and uh, get that going. The show's at 6 p.m. Pacific, Sklar Brothers, Tyler Gooch, me and Steve, and Mia Jackson, 
and one more to be booked soon. It's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, this Saturday, I have Glebe off the top, crowd work and improvised madness with an announcement not announced yet. My special guest this week will be one of the stars of Roast Battle on Comedy Central, Jeremiah Watkins. Oh, he's so great. Yeah, he's awesome. One of, the, one of the great improvisers, so he'll be there with me. Please get your tickets at NoWareComedyClub.com on February 26th. I'm headlining with my newly formed Together Hour, so check that out as well. Awesome. Right, you anything to catch up on before we get the audience out here? Yes, we do. I forgot I had a job on this show. Um, we <laughs> had Technics said a tip of the hat to Hayden McGrath Master. Wow. Nice. Um, what else? Do we have anything else? Bum, bada, bum, 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 bum. Nope, that was it, guys. All right. Well, front row, we love you. We'll see you uh, Friday for Fucking Fan Fridays, unless you come tonight to our uh, digital Zoom event with Katrina Davis, which we hope you do at 6 p.m. Uh, but, yeah, we'll see you guys on Fucking Fan Friday. Going to be good. Uh, yeah, and just great. so you know, too, that even if you aren't able to make the, the live show, we do post only uh, the archives in the Patreon for 10 bucks a month, so you can get access to that. So, yeah. There you go. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys Friday. Nice. I did that right this time, right? You did do it yep. right this time. Nice job. Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we'll see you guys in a little bit or Friday. Love you guys. Have a great uh, Thursday. Thank you guys so much for being with us. Certainly not the same without Steve here, but we do our best. Um, we look forward to Steve being back with us Friday. We won't have comics there Friday, but we will have me and Steve and Bowers and Rachel and Four of the four of us are comics now. You hear that, Rachel? I'm not. <laughs> Fuck off. Good night, everybody. <laughs>